Hey guys, it's Kristen here from Magoosh. Welcome to another episode of Tuesday CT. And this week we are rounding out our series of videos on top tips for each section of the test. So we have videos for reading, for math, for English, for writing. This week we're talking about the top three tips for success on the intimidating ACT science section. So let's go ahead and just get started with that. Tip number one, don't read the passages first, unless it's the conflicting viewpoints passage. Okay, so there is one passage on each section of ACT science that you do have to read first, and that's the one where you have two scientists or two students or two theories that are being debated and you have to answer questions on those. That one, it's pretty much all reading. You won't see many charts or figures or diagrams on it. So once you get familiar with the test, you'll know right away which one I'm talking about. Okay, so that one you do have to read. The rest of them, don't read them first. No one has time to read these complex science passages and fully understand them and then go to the questions. So go straight to the questions. Most of the answers are going to be on the tables, on the diagrams, on the figures. Occasionally you're going to have to read a little bit of the text and that's fine. Just read what you have to and then move on. Don't read first. No time for that on the ACT science. It's very time pressed. Tip number two is to use a strategy I call using key terms. And basically what this is, it takes, takes a little bit of practice, but you're training your brain to tune out all the fluff in the question so you can just hone in on the words that you're looking for in the diagrams or in the passage. And this really helps avoid taxing your brain. You're already tired. This is the last multiple choice section on the test and avoids you having to reread the question several times and still not understand it. So we're going to practice this with a question really quickly here, but we have full lesson videos of this in our ACT science product at act.magoosh.com, so you can check that out as well too. But let's go ahead and look at a sample question, and you can also find this sample question and the graph for it in the blog post below this video. Based on the results of figure, based on the results in figure one, which of the following could be the absorbance values for samples containing four ppm of chromium and copper, respectively? Now, if you're like most people, you're going to look at this and say, hmm, like, what does that mean? I don't know what ppm is. I have no idea what this is talking about. So what we want to do is we just want to pick out the key terms. What are the words, what are the numbers we're going to be looking up on the chart? So here is an example of that same question. I blacked out or I crossed out all the other words except for the key terms. You probably don't want to do this on your test, but what you can do is underline the key terms. Take a lot of time to cross all that stuff out. So just underline the key terms for yourself. So here are my key terms. Figure one, absorbance, four ppm, copper, and chromium. And then here's our chart. I tried to imitate it just for illustration, the real charts below the video, so you can check that out as well too. So we're looking for chromium, copper, 4 ppm, that's right here, and absorbance, boom. What we're doing is we're just looking for what happens when those key terms match up. So chromium would be uh, about here, if we were to follow this trend out, maybe like 34, and copper would be at 4 ppm, maybe about 13 or 14%. Now, you're gonna find those answer choices in your answers. So without even really needing to understand what the question's asking us, if you just look for those key terms and just find them, it naturally kind of leads you to the answer choice. Trust me, it takes some practice, but once you start getting the hang of that, it helps so much on the science for you to feel comfortable getting the answers quickly. All right, and finally, tip number three, top tips for success on the ACT science section is to take time to practice sections. Once you become comfortable with ACT science, I want you to, as much as possible, you don't necessarily have to take full practice tests, although you should do that too, take practice sections under time condi conditions. So give yourself the time limit that the ACT gives you and do it with that speed because what a lot of people find is they feel totally comfortable answering these questions, they're fine, but they're taking twice as long to answer them as they would have on the test. So you need to practice being 
comfortable with being uncomfortable with how fast you need to go through this test and doing it under time conditions can help you with that. You also need to know if maybe you shouldn't be trying to do all the passages in an ACT science section. Maybe you just need to focus your energies on just doing six or just doing five instead of the seven to get your, be your best score. So you can practice this if you do it under timed conditions. Okay, so those are my top three tips for the science. Don't read first. Make sure you take tests under time conditions and use the strategy of just finding the key terms. Really annotate the passage, really be engaged with it, and you'll be much better off on ACT science. For more tips on science and everything else you can possibly imagine about the ACT, go to act.magoosh.com and I will see you here with some more advice next week on Tuesday CT.